Hi guys, welcome back to Stranger Times. The 1600s was a horrid time to be alive in England, Scotland or Wales, or any part of Europe at that time if truth be told. In 1612, between the 27th of July and 19th of August, 10 witches were to be put to death by hanging. A series of events that led up to these trials are unfortunate and sad in that the key witness was that of a nine-year-old girl known as Janet Device and that she gave evidence against her own sister, mother and brother. And also it was the first ever documented trial to be put into publication by Thomas Potts in 1613. With King James I enthroned in 1603, he brought with him his suspicions and paranoia of witches and witchcraft. He even wrote a book called Demonology, which stressed the importance of persecuting witches in a Christian society in 1597. So, by 1612, Lancashire had had a long and dark history for such a small town. Lancaster Castle, where the witches were held, was still being used as a prison in 2011, some 400 years after its most famous occupants were there. The town's nickname was The Hanging Town. Six of the witches were from two families, the Demdike family and the Chatox family also known as the Whittle family. There had been some disagreements and squabbles among both families that led up to the trials and resulted in the deaths of the witches. Nine of the accused, Alison Device, Elizabeth Device, James Device, Anne Whittle, Anne Redfern, Alice Nutter, Catherine Hewitt, John Balcock and Jane Balcock were all found guilty during the two-day trial and hanged at Gallows Hill, Lancaster, 20th of August, 1612. Elizabeth Southerns, aka Old Demdike, died while awaiting trial. Only Alice Gray was not found guilty. Nine-year-old Janet Device stated as main witness that she knew her mother was a witch and had been for at least four or five years and that she had a familiar called Ball who appeared in the shape and form of a brown dog and that Janet had heard her mother and the dog talking about various people to murder. Nine-year-old Janet Device Star witness of the 1612 witch trials was not seen again until 1633 when she was on trial for witchcraft but was pardoned shortly after. Do the witches of Pendle still haunt the area today? Some say that they do. Here we have a couple of bonus pictures of supposed Pendle witch ghosts still haunting the village of Pendle today. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you soon. Please subscribe and hit the notifications button. Cheers.